Hey everyone, Todd here, internalarchitect.com. In this video, you're going to learn the importance of finding balance in your life. After cancer, you end up going through so many things. There's so many changes that have happened, and there are so many directions and so many uh, forks in the road, so to say, that you get pulled into into all these different directions. So you get really overwhelmed with just the, the pure amount of things that go on. That's why trying to find balance in your life is incredibly important and then sticking to it for the long run. Right now in my life I'm having a little bit of a hard time trying to find some balance mostly because winter is here. I have a lot of responsibilities with um, strap in for life as the director and then on top of it I, I have a full-time job and then I'm trying to share all my my knowledge with you guys so I'm I feel like I'm being torn into a lot of different ways and that doesn't even include all my family obligations and responsibilities there with all the things that go on in life you know and it only seems to get a little bit crazier and a little bit crazier as we get older we sometimes tend to forget that by finding a little bit of balance and doing some good personal things for yourself that it really helps alleviate a lot of the stress that goes on and it's able to kind of bring you into a point to where you can really start to focus and have a little bit of dedicated concentration to every single thing in life that is going on because like, like and like I said right now I feel a little bit overwhelmed due to just all the different things and in, in that's happening but I'm able to slowly work towards a this balance fortunately I'm aware of it and I'm aware of where everything um, where my time is going and because of this I am I can start kind of adjusting things to make make my time more important no I'm able to make my time used wise more wisely in order to accomplish all these different things it is tough because you know you you hear about people that go out and you know, they work from 4 a.m. to midnight every day, and they only sleep on four hours of sleep every night. That's really difficult for me. Uh, I've learned that the hard way. I've, I have burned the candle on both ends on many, many projects. Now I'm just really f figuring out when my time during the day is being wasted, and I am able to start shifting my focus to doing these better things. And, and, and by doing this, I'm able to to make this balance slowly come to fruition. Now, it's not going to happen every day, and it's something that you have to work on constantly in order to to kind of strive for that little bit of peace that you want to have in your life. I understand at this point that I'm in the grind, and I am I am really working to to make a a better life after cancer and since cancer took all my financial resources away this is something that I have to do and I have to go through personally but I am doing things that I really really care about and that I feel passionate about because as I move forward and as I slowly am checking off or as my dad like used to like to say taking a brick off the pile uh, one brick at a time you know I'm doing one brick at a time to to slowly get closer to reaching the goals and accomplish the tasks that I I have to do um, whether it's with internal architect or whether it's with strap in for life or family obligations or work obligations all these different things that are that are going on that take up my time I feel that my time is the most important and valuable thing in my life and I know that I have to do specific things to make sure that I achieve these goals all at the same time. There's an exercise that you can do that kind of helps you understand how 
multitasking works. Now, it's a little bit of a weird challenge, but this is something that you can time. And by doing this, it'll help you understand just how much multitasking doesn't work. But it'll also help you understand that by taking a task and really focusing on it and accomplishing it and then moving to the next one and and so on and so on and so on you will realize that you will get more stuff done once I understood this lesson and this exercise it made so much sense to me that that's how I now focus all my time and that's how I focus on working on find on creating the balance that I want in my life it's a it's been a uh, it's been a difficult journey and it's been a difficult challenge to keep working on and to build a habit that I can use uh, for the rest of my life but it has really benefited me over the long run also so this this lesson is uh, I want you to take a piece of paper and I want you to time yourself now this it's a little bit difficult to time yourself but you're gonna write out the alphabet and the and the number that correlates with each letter in the alphabet so it'd be one uh, be a through Z and then 1 through 27 I want you to start by writing on uh, on top of uh, on the top part of your sheet uh, a um, a and then underneath it one and then two B three C and so on and so on and so on all the way down and through time yourself doing that go ahead and do that I'll wait actually I won't but you know go ahead and time that pause the video and then see what your time is and then when you're done I want you to do the same thing except I want you to write out the entire alphabet in one spot and then underneath it the correlating number all the way through 27 for that um, for each letter in the alphabet and then and time yourself doing that and see what the difference is I guarantee well I can't guarantee you but I I have a pretty good bet that you will be faster in the second part of this exercise because you are focusing on one 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 task at a time and it's really a cool exercise to see and do it a couple times to just make sure that it is true because I ended up doing it five or six times and I was much quicker just writing everything out out at once and doing the number corresponding right underneath it instead of going back and forth between each one now it's just a mental it's a mental thing that works um, in your head that you're trying to multitask um, the first part of the exercise where underneath you're separating the two and you're able to make it happen faster go ahead and try that and see how that works because I think it I think you'll be pleasantly surprised and that might help you understand why multitasking doesn't work once you do that and then you start applying this logic to the rest of your different parts of your life you will start seeing better results and you will also start seeing better um, outcomes because of them also and you'll be done a little bit quicker which gives you more time which allows you know to find balance which allows the peace so it's kind of a snowball effect but it's something that is really really good to try um, and to help you understand the importance of finding that balance in your life so Hope you liked the video. Um, hit me in the comment section below and I'll respond to them as soon as I can. And give me a thumbs up if you, if you, if you find that this is a pretty good um, video and if, if, you, if you think it's, it, it works for you. Um, I really appreciate your time and your energy into everything uh, that I'm putting out here. And you know, as I say on, on all these, I love you guys and I'll see you on the next video.